to complaints it was making them sick. They say safety lights are creating a strobing effect that's caused one driver to collapse. It's easy to see how this gets almost hypnotic, plays with the mind. You've got that constant coming and going of the light. Some passengers can't stand it, turn away. It's just out of the corner of my eye. It's... So you sit on the other side here? Yeah, so I don't have to watch them coming. Drivers have no choice but to watch them coming much of the day, every day. They're getting dizzy, headaches and nausea. When one collapsed after a shift, he blamed the strobing. A dizzy driver with the lives of up to 2,000 people in his or her hands is not a good thing for the rail network. The lights illuminate the tunnel's emergency platform, a safety measure possibly causing a safety problem. Were a driver to become dizzy or incapacitated, the train would stop automatically. Rail Corp has restricted driver hours in the tunnel while it investigates. It's yet more grief for the Epping to Chatswood rail link, completed three years late at close to double the budget and half the original length, plagued by steep tracks, extreme noise and crack walls. So, experts from engineering to optometry are being called in to solve the rail link's latest problem. They'll need to work fast. It's being integrated with the rest of the network within three months. If the lights are making drivers dizzy, they may be turned off until an emergency or may be operated by sensors, yet more cost. This is why this project has had one disaster after another. Chris Mark.